Not even the cops believed what this woman discovered in an abandoned Texas home. When a woman entered an abandoned home in Houston, all she could think about was what her friend claimed was in there. It didn't seem like it could be real, and if it was, she didn't know what to do. All of this raced through her mind as she stepped into the home, and then she discovered it for herself. The cops didn't believe her, but then they saw it as well, and all doubt was erased. Read on to find out what secret this old house was hiding. There's something mesmerizing about an abandoned home. Walking through one, you imagine the people that once lived there, how it used to look, and how it got to become so desolate. None of that was going through this woman's mind, though, when she entered an abandoned home in Houston, Texas. The night had all begun with a friend of a friend of a friend who had led them to the mysterious house in the first place. Anytime you're going into an abandoned house with someone you don't know, there's bound to be trouble. The woman had a gut feeling that something wasn't right, but she didn't want to say anything in front of the group. So she went with her friend and these two men they hardly knew to this abandoned house, where one of the men said he had to do a quick chore. Feeling daring, the ladies entered into an unknown territory. Right away, the woman could tell that the home had been abandoned for a while. The place was in terrible condition. The guy who led them there said he was fixing it up, but by the looks of it, the home would need some major help. The woman didn't know how this guy found this house, got into it, and then started living there. The entire scenario was suspect, but judging this squatter was the least of her concerns. The further they went into the home, the more it seemed like being in a horror film. The woman couldn't help but feel that she was about to encounter something terribly wrong. Part of this feeling she had was caused by something that was said to her earlier that day. The guy who led them to this house didn't just say he had to do a chore, he said that he had to feed his pet. A house that hasn't been occupied for some time is bound to look and smell off, but there was something specifically rancid about this home. Then the woman saw what it was. As they neared the garage, she discovered packages of meat being kept nearby. This was far from the dry dog food you'd expect to see someone feeding their pet. Whatever was in the garage, it wasn't your average pet. This was something huge. At this point, the woman and her friend were getting nervous. If they had any doubts about their safety before, now they were definitely concerned about their well-being. The woman knew she was going to have to do something. She didn't want to just run out without seeing what was in there, though. So she sucked in her chest and held her breath as she walked into the garage. Sure enough, what was inside was shocking. The worst of their fears were confirmed when they discovered that there was a pet tiger in the garage. Most terrifying of all was that the tiger wasn't a baby. It was a fully grown, 350-pound creature. Though the woman was frightened by what she saw, she couldn't help but feel bad for the poor animal. It was in a cage far too small for its large body and was covered in filth from living in this rundown home. The more the woman thought about it, the more that she realized the tiger wasn't as much of a concern as the man who claimed to own it. She wondered how he managed to get the tiger there in the first place. On top of that, tigers were illegal in Houston. This man clearly was not concerned about obeying the law. The woman knew that she couldn't carry on with her night without doing something about this. Once the woman managed to get away from the other, she decided to make an anonymous call to the authorities. She dialed the Houston non-emergency line and told the operator what she witnessed in the house. The woman was adamant that she wasn't lying, saying that there was a large tiger in the back of an abandoned house. She gave the operator the exact address of the home, and then the case was turned over to the police. The police reportedly thought that the woman was hallucinating, they wondered if she was under the influence or simply seeing things. Still, it was their job to investigate what could be happening. If there was a large tiger in an abandoned home, that could be a threat to society. Not only was the tiger illegal to have as a pet, but it also didn't sound like it had a very good owner. The police had to go in. Once police arrived at the home, they immediately noticed that it appeared to have been vacant for some time. Since there weren't any belongings inside, it didn't seem like anyone was living there. The only thing that they found that would indicate someone had entered the premises were a few packages of meat. The police seemed to be having the same experience that the woman had when she first entered the home. Then they headed into the garage. 
Just like the woman had said, there was a fully grown tiger in a small cage in the garage. The officers also noticed that the cage had a makeshift lock fastened with a screwdriver and a nylon strap. It was clearer than ever that they were dealing with an amateur. Surprisingly, the tiger was handling all of the commotion very well. It wasn't getting as rambunctious as they expected, as though it knew that it needed their help. Once police officers verified that there was indeed a tiger in the home, it was time to contact animal control. The animal rescue officers tranquilized the tiger to ensure that they could safely move it. The professionals used special equipment to pull the animal out of its cage and transport it to a safe place. While the tiger's living conditions were extremely poor, they noted that the tiger was well-fed and seemed okay with being around people. Still, the tiger was very dehydrated. The first order of business was finding the tiger a safe place to live. It clearly hadn't been treated right and would need to be cared for by professionals. Right away, workers began caring for this confused and innocent animal. A local shelter agreed to temporarily take the tiger in. They kept him in a horse pen away from the other animals. Though it wouldn't be permanent, it would do for the time being. Looking at the large tiger, it was hard not to feel for the helpless animal. The police officers now had to continue their investigation to determine who should be held responsible. The only person who faced any charges was the owner of the tiger, who was keeping it illegally in an abandoned house. A spokeswoman said that this is not the first time that they have encountered an illegal tiger. According to her, tigers are often obtained as pets when they're tiny and they grow to be too expensive and dangerous, at which point they are usually abandoned. Since the officials didn't know anything about the tiger's history, they wouldn't be able to safely relinquish it back into the wild. They needed a specialized sanctuary, and so they turned to Black Beauty Ranch in Murchison, Texas. The ranch sits on five acres and is naturally wooded. Its habitat mimics a natural environment so that the tiger could adjust to life outdoors. This tiger would be one of several hundred animals at the ranch. The tiger's new caretakers fondly named him Tyson and began discovering his little quirks. One of the most exciting parts of watching the tiger was seeing the way he interacted with grass. Dr. Michaela Vetters reported that Tyson looked like he was walking on hot sand when he first got onto the grass. It was immediately apparent that he'd never been on grass before. Since the tiger was kept hidden, he had missed out on ordinary animal experiences. While tigers are legal in the state of Texas, Houston does not allow them as pets for many reasons. The most obvious reason that we've seen in this story is that not everyone knows how to take care of them. When tigers are small, they can make wonderful pets, just like a dog or a cat. As they grow larger, though, they become harder to take care of and need more specialized treatment that most of us aren't prepared to give. Despite the adorable tiger cub photos out there, it's important to think about them when they're fully grown. Having a pet that weighs more than many grown men do and eats 25 pounds a day isn't a walk in the park. On top of that, they can be dangerous. Regardless of how an animal is raised, they are not immune to getting spooked or lashing out. Handling a tiger that snaps is not the same as handling a dog that gets out of sorts. There are two other tigers at the sanctuary where Tyson lives, which may be his first time encountering other creatures of the same species since he was very young. Tigers are an endangered species and the WWF estimates that there are only 4,000 left in the world. It's vitally important that these animals are treated right and taken care of so that they continue to prosper. We hope that Tyson can get to enjoy his days to the fullest thanks to the helpful tip given by one concerned woman.